Okay, I'm back. So I've got certain parameters now. Like, again, just just for beat the dead horse stick. And let's go here. Go back to Pogo. Let's go here to Balloon Bounce. And let's see. Let's verify that. I'm not going to have the sound that I had before. So basically, you get one play, then your sound's gone. And that's what they mean by in intermediate. Intermittent. And now I'm going to look at the contents of the .java file folder, and I'm going to see what kind of permissions, you know, who owns the folders, uh, what permissions do, do the users have, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we got that part. No music, right? Some sounds, but not the same intro game, right? I don't know. If, I don't think that's by design. And these guys aren't really reacting, right? They're not really going. Ooh, ooh, yeah. It's okay. So now it's time to do a little bit of surgery. Okay. I also noticed that when I close the game here. Okay, wait. Go back in there. Go back in there. Just thought of something. The orbit file says allow executing of files in that temp folder. They'll always remember this Christmas. So will I when we get the bill. Oh, I don't no, think it matters. Okay, so we've got, let's see here. This, right. Okay, so when I started that commercial in the temporary. In the temporary folder, in the orbit slash genes folder, there is a file. I bet she's. Is that still there? Let's see. Now, what kind of properties does this have? It allows executing read and write in James. Okay, let's start the game. I'm not seeing any difference with that. And these. Okay, do I see any difference with these? Any reason why I'd have a permissions problem? Now I have permission to use that. And so now it goes down. Okay, what the hell's going on in my .java folder? Why do I have to keep deleting this damn thing? What is it? I don't see anything here that would lead me to believe. Now, what is this? It's got a location. Yeah, it looks kind of weird, but I think that was already there. Um, is it the cache? Well, obviously, it can only be things where, there, where things have a content of. Let's see. Here we got properties. I can create and delete the files. I can access the files. Others can access the files. What do I have in here? I've got a, an image, some IDX file. Okay. A lot of empty. Okay, what's all this? What is an IDX? I wonder. So the problem is, what's the latest one here? I, mean, I don't want to waste my time. Okay, so see, I'm noticing now that these folders have a timestamp of 1027. And when I started the latest game, the when I started this game, it was it was at 10:27. But when I um, started the next game, it was at 10:33. So these these little folders here were created initially at 10:27. And again, if I look at the properties of these things, it gives it just gives access. The owner can create and delete files. Others can only access the files. So let me, you know what? I think it may be a permissions problem. So let me uh, select all here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to permissions uh, read only. No, 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 no. We're going to let everybody read and write this stuff. Are we not? Yes, we are. see here. What? 
This is what I don't like about. You know, I, I in KDE when I selected all those, I would be able to change those in a second. What is this? Let me select all these here. Come on, edit. Come on, select all. Where is? Oh, there it is. I'm getting tired. So let me see. The, 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 what should happen here? Is I want to give. I don't want this to be read only. I want it to be read and write for everybody. But it's not going to do that, as you will see. And that is one thing I do not like. Now, if I could do the change mode, if I just knew what the change mode command was, or if I just had KDE in here, I'd be able to deal with this. I bet you anything, if I made all of these folders. Um, Read right. I wonder. I just really wonder. Now maybe it worked. Now let's see. Yeah. Okay. Now let's try balloon bounce, shall we? works, then that tells me that it needs to be able to read and write those files to reload uh, the sound. Or, or Java needs to clear out that cache every time you stop the game for Pogo to work properly. And so now, it's a matter of figuring out what you need to do. Is it a permissions problem? Now I'm not getting any sound. No, no sound. No sound after changing permissions. Okay, so, hmm. Get us go up here. Let's go up here. Okay. Permission. Let's see. See, I don't know what program process is actually accessing those files. Right? Now, while the game is going, okay, I'm going to look and see while the game is going and producing sound exactly what it does. So I'm going to clear out my cache here. Edit. Let's see if that, without renaming the entire Java bin, Okay, let's try it. Now, may, yeah, maybe I had to restart Firefox. Maybe Firefox still has sockets that are going to look for files in there. Let's just try this one more time. And I should have done that with the permissions that I was testing here. No, because the files would still be there, so it doesn't make any sense. This is fascinating. This is what us nerds like to do. I'm gonna go home. I, I at least I found some information I can give my wife. I get the sound system working for the love of God. I notice that when you go into the game with the cache cleared, it'll say loading game. Okay, there's sound, and it's loading. And no, no sound. Very limited sound. Now, what happened there? So it's not just the cache, right? Okay, let's close the sucker up. Um, there's more to it. Now, what's ext? Nothing in there. Nothing in the log. Nothing in security. What if I just deleted deployment properties? What are the properties of this? Read only. 
for anybody but me. Now, what if I put Java? In, if it's still, if I was, if if I put Java in the James group, it still would be read only. That's pretty much one of the only things we're in there. Let's just try renaming that. And clearing the cache. Well, that's the only thing that's in there. I mean, how could it be anything else? Let me stop. I think I'm ripe to go over.